Hi everybody and welcome to another Thrifty Thursday and I can't wait to show you what I got this week because I got something free and before you wonder what am I going to do with it, I think you're going to be really surprised. I got this for free and what it was, a box to put silverware in it. It had a red velvet type lining. You know what these look like. Everybody's probably had one sometime in their lifetime. Well, the red velvet was starting to rot. This is very, very old. So I tore it out, see? Now it looks really ugly, doesn't it? But at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you what I turned it into. But you're gonna have to wait to the end of the video to find out what idea did I have for this box. So let me show you what I bought. The first thing I bought for $1 is this bag and it's insulated. I need one of these for going on family picnics. So I got the bag for $1 and it was insulated. I'm really working on this year on my Thrifty Thursdays, especially to buy things that will go along with my channel. So my channel uh, is of a nostalgia. It's nostalgic and my channel is of things old. And so that is the goal of my Thrifty Thursdays, is to find things that will go along with incorporating into my videos. I love incorporating things into my videos. The first thing I got for $2 was this plate. Now this plate, of course, is a replica, and I'm going to be trying to collect the set of them. But it was $2 because I'm going to incorporate this in my Cheat Meal Mondays and my Crock-Pot Wednesdays, incorporate this plate because it's very old looking. And I'm trying to put everything together into a nice polished look. And I'm having so much fun doing it. I am in my element. You know, people often say to me, my, you seem so happy. I am extremely happy because I'm in my element and I'm just enjoying what I am working on. The next thing I got for 40 cents was this, and it's a set of them, of these folders. So they're mailers. And of course, I'm not gonna be mailing anything with them. I'm working on an upcoming project that will be incorporated into my videos, and you will see me working on it. I have an idea for this that's very old school and vintage. So I'm really, really excited about that. And then I got, for 35 cents, this old mug. For some reason, this mug spoke to me. I don't know why, but I enjoy it and like it. <laughs> and I'm going to be using this mug. I'm, I'm a mug kind of person, more than a teacup kind of person, and I'm going to be using this for teas. I am starting to drink more teas because they are so good for you. But I thought it was cute. And it's Ricketts Glen, Pennsylvania. That's about an hour away from me. But I like this side of it. For $1, I got another one of these. I'm gonna have to clean it up. It has something in the center. But for $1, I love these. And I use these for collecting seeds and making my own seed packets, which I'm sure you're going to be seeing a lot of it. So I collect my seeds and I'll put them in here and then I can put them in my own seed packets. The last thing I got for $2.50, which was high priced, I will admit that, I got this. Now, it's not old, it's just to look old, but I have the perfect thing that I need in it. And I'm gonna show you that here in just a moment. So it says dried corn on it. Got an idea what I'm gonna be doing? <laughs> It says dry corn. So I'm gonna show you working on this. And then working on my box. But last but not least, for $1, I got this. Now I thought this was just so unique and it is glazed pottery. And it was $1 and has the name of the person who made it. Isn't that nice? I will be keeping this inside my house. I have some parsley inside my house. All right, everyone, there is my Thrifty Thursday, but we're not near finished yet 
because I want to show you what I'm going to do with this box and I want to show you what we're going to do with the jar that is old-fashioned looking. So come on everybody, let me show you my projects. I think you'll be surprised. So I turned this into my seed box and these are all packets of seeds that I printed out for free on the internet. All of this was free. So I printed all this out. I just googled free printables and this is the box. So what was dirty and it smelled really really bad, it smelled like mold, I cleaned it up, painted it and I turned it into a treasure that I will love for a long time. I would love this. This is something that I find really special and I'm going to be using it here in an upcoming video where I'm working on saving all of my own seeds. This is how you can turn something that somebody would throw away and you can repurpose it into something very, very pretty.